Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we're going to see how to apply an e-visa to travel to Laos step by step. Before I proceed further, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify, neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, in front of you, I have opened this e-visa official website. So there they have given the conditions that you have to enter through one of these eight uh, entry ports, okay, international ports, whatever they say, and some other terms and conditions. You got to agree. Okay. You can apply through, uh, through this also. Oh, yeah. And even the same website link they have given right there. That's fine. Okay. So if you go to apply, fee and all the information is here. If you want to see, if you see India, is $50. Okay. And you want to apply, you can either click from apply now here or you can apply from here. Okay. Select your country or passport. Type of travel document. Email and this verify code. Next, they're going to send a pin to your email and that you need to add. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to see you guys do the verification. You come over here. This is available in other language too. Okay. But whichever you prefer to. So you upload your photo size will also given and same passport bio page okay now those with this sign are mandatory i'm just putting sample you need to do as per your case and they have written as per your passport it's just sample i'm putting you do as per your case date of birth as per your case you can select from here be very careful guys a lot of people do minor mistakes here and then later they struggle like anything to get it corrected i'm sorry i think i moved so fast country of birth country of citizenship Passport details, passport number, data of issue. Read your passport and then carefully select this. A lot of people do very minor mistake, uh, a date missed or something, and then they struggle. Don't get into that problem. You can easily avoid it by doing all the verification nicely. Country of passport, whatever is up to you, yes. Date of entry, what you know, like written, your passport should have minimum six months validity from the date of arrival. Okay. So, in three business days, they are going to take to processing. So, let's say you're going to come like here. Flight number. I'm just, I'll just put sample. Okay. Purpose of trip, travel, address during visit, like hotel where you're going to stay. They're written proper next destination optional but if you have definitely provided terms and condition and you go to next this will definitely not work now because i have not uploaded this let me see if i can bypass i will see you guys again so guys somehow i was able to bypass that now next if you go from here yeah this verification page you can go back and make changes and it's very important that you spend some time here verify everything next you go ahead and then check all the details and then if okay, you can go ahead and pay and then it will go from here. So that is how it goes, guys. Let me know what you feel about it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.